Hello, in this session we will be going over how to set up a voice channel and some unified routing rules to route calls to the appropriate queues. This will be in the Omnichannel Admin Center. We will also go through a demo where an agent receives a call based on that work stream that, and queues that are created. Um, so this is the Omnichannel Admin Center. And a quick call out here, the setup voice demo enables you to set up a voice channel out of the box. This will come with some test data and default routing rules that you can configure. Let's go through how to create it using the work streams. I have pre-created some work streams for us to go over, but in order to create a new voice work stream, it is, the approach is similar to what we did for chat, except instead of messaging or record, this time we pick voice. And on the channel, the voice call gets pre-populated. Now, when you go ahead and hit create, it creates a work stream template for voice that then you can configure. So let's set up the voice channel. There are phone numbers. There's one phone number that gets, that comes preloaded with the product. Um, in order to purchase another phone number, we can go to get phone number. I will touch on that later. But first, I'm going to select a available phone number. This language, the primary language, basically is the language that you want to welcome your customer in. I'm going to default it to English. And um, based on this language that you select, the voice profile and details will change. Post call survey is another feature that you can enable. So let me say it. I'm using only one language for now. So let's move um, into behaviors. The customer wait time, for instance, when it's enabled, it lets you in, uh, notify the customer of the position average wait time. This is the, the behavior that you expect the system to display when interacting with the customer. You can load some automated messages per work streams as well here. So let's go into next. Now this is the screen we want to see. This shows us that the voice channel has been set up and this phone number that we had selected is associated to the channel. And these are all the options that we had pre already selected in the previous steps. One call out, the make calls enables you to make outbound calls, enables agents to make outbound calls based on settings. And it comes in very handy in the future for um, callback routing or so on. Let's say save and close. As this number saves, this number will get displayed here in this box. And um, this is the number that you will socialize with the customer in order for them to call into the agents. You can add multiple phone numbers here. That would be another voice, voice channel that is associated with this work stream. And that basically gets displayed here. And you can set up routing rules for those as well. So now, that's it. Your voice channel is set up and um, we can use the number. Now, in order to go through routing rules, I'm going to pick another work stream that I pre-created. So here, my use case here is Contest of Coffee basically wants to segment their customers based on phone numbers or based on specific attributes and lets them route the customer, VIP customers to specific queues and monthly customers to specific queues. So that is exactly what we are going to do for them here. Um, how do we do this? There's two parts. The first part is classification. We've, we will go, the details of this would be separate, but how do you classify your customer, for instance, in this use case? What I have done is, I've taken the VIP customer bucket and um, there are ways you can go ahead and set conditions. So in, in here, what you can pick is, you can pick a customer contact and reference that. So in, in this case, I have picked a customer contact mobile phone number and pick, generated that. Uh, let's go into full call engagement, for instance. Um, where you don't have the contact in your system, but you do know that they will call from a specific number. So in that case, I'm going to pick customer phone number um, and that would equal a specific value or contain a specific value that will let me set the condition for classification. Now, in order for the output here, what I have set is the customer ac account. Under account, the customer category should be set to preferred customer. So this will enable me to classify similarly for monthly what I have set is let's set the customer category to standard so that those are the conditions and those are the output attributes that we have set up. Now classification is done. What do I do with the routing to queue? So route to queue here, as you can see, uh, voice call for V, there are two queues, there are two rules that I've set. One rule basically goes for VIP in the sense that if the category is set to preferred based on the classification step, I would route them to the VIP queue. So let's jump into this really quick. In the previous step, where we set for classification, we said if those are the conditions, let's set the customer to be preferred. Um, in this case, what I'm saying is, let's go back there and say if they're a preferred customer, let's do a VIP queue, right? 
um, can these two things be in the same condition? Sure, but we would like to classify first and then route to queue. So that's the reason we've separated it. Um, save and close. Same thing for customer queue. If it's set to standard, let's route them there. Okay. Now, so we're done with work streams. This, no, there's one more aspect I wanted to cover really quick. So work distribution, I'm not going to the details of this, but for voice, the capacity profile would be a little different for chat as compared to chat or record. Um, in this case, the inbound, let's say the in work limit is basically the limit that you allow your customer, your agents to have before an assignment comes through. So in the case of a voice call, an agent will only be, be able to attend one call at a time. Versus a chat, for instance, they might be able to attend to multiple chats at a given time. So this can be say five or 10 for the chat chat for chat, but for voice, this has to be one. Uh, same thing and, and assignment blocking in case you don't want to automatically assign calls to agents when they're on another call. Same thing for outbound profile and escalation. As you can see, these two are the new capacity profiles that are created for voice. Okay, now let's go I want to touch on phone numbers really quick before we go into queues. Um, so these, as I said, are the phone numbers that are available in this uh, for this license. This number came when I created first. I've routed it to a specific queue. We did this just now. This is the work stream we created. And this one is ahead of time for our uh, for the next aspect, right? So let's go into queues. And, and please note here, the work stream has to be linked um, and also, if, if in order for them to make outbound calls, the default outbound profile should also be listed here. Okay, now let's go into queues. Um, as mentioned before, we have two queues, VIP queue and monthly customer queue, and I have, I have group numbers that I've given them. So let's go here. As you can see, there's only one user here, uh, one agent, and this person is acting as both agent and supervisor for Contoso. Um, and one other thing for assignment methods, we have separate sessions for that but round robin is the out of the box default value and i'm leaving it at that also another thing about voice is there's the overflow condition you can actually go ahead and set this information uh, it enables specific values it asks for here so that you can set what happens when you know work item limit exceeds a uh, one in this case it's going to be one so let me do one what happens if it exceeds so save and close um all right, now let's go into the other queue. That's so in this case, when my customer profile is set to monthly, I as Contoso Coffee expects the call volume to be really heavy in this use case. So I have two agents here. One is, as you can see, it's a um, bot. It's a bot basically through PBA. And then that bot has already been reconfigured. So this means that if there are no agents available, then let's send the customers to a bot. And that's part of the queue, so that bot will act as an agent here. So let's go back here. Yeah. So that's what I have listed up here. Um, same thing for assignment method. Okay, so we're all set. We have created a work stream. We have routed them to the right queues. We have the agents listed in the appropriate queues. Now, all that is left for us to do is to go ahead and make a call. So here, let's go into the segmentation work stream that we had created earlier and this is the phone number that we will be calling in from so let's leave this open and then alternately i'm going to go into the omni channel customer services application yeah i'm going to reload this just to make sure that it is ready to receive a call let's go back here and then i'm going to make a call in here Here, still loading. Hi, I'm a virtual agent. I can help with your questions such as information about our stores or product issues. If you'd like to speak to a human agent, let me know at any time. So, what can I help you with today? The choices are product issues, store hours, talk to agent. Talk to agent. There we go.
go. So you can see that the agent has received the call. And just before that, we, can, we heard the bot answer the call, right? The pre-survey. So that is the talk to agent that we had mentioned there that has come in here. So that's one part to it. Now, what's the next part? Where did it get routed? So as I said before, there were two queues. One of it was the VIP customer queue. The other one was the monthly customer queue. So in this case, uh, it has been routed to the monthly customer queue, as you see here, um, as, as the, the classification has been marked as a standard customer. And the next part to it is because it was routed to the monthly queue, we had the bot answer the question. So if it had gone to the VIP queue, we would not have had the bot respond to us. So here's that's one part. So that's one aspect. Let's go into the other part of it, which is okay, the call is done. Customer is disconnected. Close. Now, how do I go back and check what's going on? So as you see, it's it's in the wrap up stage. Let's go into the on, ongoing customer uh, conversations dashboard. You see, see this, it does not show up information because nothing is active now. Let's go here. Let's go into routing diagnostics. So here, um, we have to turn it on in order to receive this information. So let me see. As you can see, we've had all these customers come in and then I'm going to focus on the work streams in this part. Uh, let's close the all of the others. Okay, so the work stream in queue, as you can see, it has been routed to the uh, by that work stream to the appropriate queues. Um, we've mostly had monthly assignments and uh, the call volume is really high on the monthly side, which is why we had also enabled a bot. And as you can see, the, some of us agents have received the conversation, some of it the virtual agent has received the conversation. So here we go, that's the diagnostics report. Um, so this, this is the end of our uh, demo and our session. Thank you.